Hello everyone. I hope everybody's been staying well during this coronavirus mess. Uh, we haven't been meeting for a while uh, and I appreciate all of your cooperation in sticking with us. This is our first virtual presentation. Uh, we will probably be switching over to this format, but stay tuned. Um, today's topic is how to do digital marketing to sell my invention. And our uh, speaker today is Carson Barnes. He's the owner of Pizzazz Group, a digital marketing agency based in Columbus, Ohio. Pizzazz Group's clients include Fortune 500 companies, professional service firms, retail companies, and startups, just to name a few. The Pizzazz Group was recently awarded by Expertise as a top 21 advertising agency in Columbus out of 121 advertising agencies. Carson enjoys developing personalized marketing campaigns for business growth. Carson believes in the motto, when you love your customers and work relentlessly to achieve big goals for their business, great things happen. Let's begin. Thanks for that introduction, Michael, and uh, I'm excited to be your first virtual presenter uh, and, uh, and looking forward to talking to your group. So uh, thanks for having me here. And today's presentation is how to do digital marketing to sell my invention. Uh, here's an agenda for today's presentation. So a brief overview of Pizzazz Group, and then we're going to have a review of our products and services. We're gonna discuss the digital marketing process we recommend, uh, provide an example of Google Ads and Facebook marketing campaign, and then from there, the next steps. Uh, there's a picture of me on the right. Uh, my name is Carson Barnes. I'm the Pizzazz Group owner. Uh, a little bit about Pizzazz Group. Pizzazz Group is a full service digital advertising agency. Our office is located in Columbus, Ohio. When I say full service digital advertising agency, what that means, uh, what we do, uh, is we do websites. Uh, we also do the marketing online so people are able uh, to, to understand your service and products and get you great positioning, whether that's uh, a, through Google search or within social media. So our clients include Fortune 500 corporations, professional service firms, retail companies, restaurants, childcare, and startups, just to name a few. We focus on meeting clients' business goals and initiatives through digital advertising and marketing growth solutions. And we are a Google partner and offer their full suite of products. Uh, what it means to you for us being a Google partner is we are certified, we have taken the test uh, and, and are knowledgeable and, and are able to consult our, our customers on what the best Google products are uh, for their business. Uh, we also are, are, are graded essentially on our, our performance of our campaigns that we run for customers. And at the end of the day, um, that Google partnership is important to us because uh, we're able to tell our, our customers that we know what we're doing, uh, we have a proven track record, and, um, and we work really hard for our customers. So um, we're uh, on the bottom left there, we write for social media today, a Columbus Chamber of Commerce member, uh, Columbus CEO, we've we've uh, been highlighted in their publication. As Michael said, we uh, are we were chosen this year for expertise as the best digital marketing agency in Columbus out of twenty one or twenty one uh, marketing agencies on that list. Uh, Google Partner and then Facebook and Instagram are the popular uh, two two of the popular social media outlets. Obviously, we. Uh, do LinkedIn and, and other channels, but um, just those are the two that we uh, do the most within. Uh, next here is our services, what we offer to our customers, uh, custom websites. That could be a informational website. It could be an e-commerce website. Then from there, we do uh, SEO to make sure that your website ranks. That stands for search engine optimization. Then we also could do paid advertising, which is on the top of a Google search. Uh, we focus a lot within Google because it's receiving the most traffic. Uh, from there, we also have the ability to do social media marketing, which could be LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, like I mentioned. 
Uh, it could be the post of it. It could be creating a calendar of your post so you know what you're looking to achieve each month uh, and each post that will be on each day or whatever uh, is best for your business. Uh, and then we also do the marketing of it. So picking the demographics uh, with you of, of who you want to get your message in front of. And then most popular <laughs> here in the last uh, three, four months have been, have been our uh, 3D virtual tours. Um, with COVID and the inability to maybe tour a facility, 3D virtual tours have been really popular to uh, be able to view a facility from a safe distance at home in front of your computer. So those are a little bit about our services. Next here is our recommended strategy. Uh, so one, obviously you guys have probably already, already have done this part, obviously, is what's your invention? Uh, defining your purpose, developing your big idea, your competition's digital marketing strategy, understanding what that is and, and why they're doing it, and then your digital marketing strategy, how is it different from your competition and, and what are you looking to achieve? From there, your sales strategy. So um you know as a digital marketing strategy we're able to bring you the the customers but then it has to do with your sales and being able to convert those potential customers into customers and then being able to duplicate it creating a culture in in a fun work environment in a a brand that that you're proud of and of course ideas are great um but the execution is is what we really focus on um an idea you know is 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 obviously very important and it's part of the root of your business and, and your purpose and what you're looking to achieve but um having that execution and doing it the right way to grow your business is, is really what we focus on the most so this is sometimes overlooked but it's a it's an important starting point is your website development um there's definitely a difference between doing a website yourself uh, there's a lot of do-it-yourself websites out there, like Wix, for example, and then having a, a professional uh, website design company uh, build out your website. Um, obviously, it's good to have a, a nice-looking website, but more importantly, is is it making you money, and is it is it converting for you and doing what you want it to do? So, first, what we like to look at is your website strategy and objectives, what you're looking to accomplish through your website. Next, we look at your competition, see what other companies are doing that are in your industry, in your field, and, and understand what their websites look like, how they function, maybe some of their call to actions, how, how is it built, their website. Next, we look at the domain names out there and we see what the best domain name is for your business. Could be your name. It could also be potentially your product or your service within with your name, uh, depending on what what's uh, the best approach for you. Next is determining if it's an informational website or a selling website. An informational website would be a website that would be built for someone making an inquiry, whether that's calling you, filling out a form submission. Uh, or a, a booked appointment uh, scheduler, maybe talking to you through the chat. So those are informational websites. The next is a selling website. So a selling website would be built uh, through an e-commerce platform uh, to sell your actual product. So that would be basically selling a product and they see the product on, on your website, they go to the purchase page, they put it in their cart, they put in their, their information and then you ship them the product. Two different forms of websites. Uh, next is your content creation, uh, determining with, with interviewing you on what's important to you and, and what you wanna convey through your website and doing it concisely. Uh, and then also interviewing your, your potential customer and understanding from there what they are looking forward to in their buying process and how we can make your website better for the content side. Next is your creative design. You know, are you having videos on your website? Are you having uh, within your messaging for your photos? You know, how is your creative look? Um, 
you know, all that plays into to effect with your content and creative to make sure it all goes together. Also color schemes, uh, having depth in your website, uh, making it visually appealing. There's a lot of things within both of those to, to, uh, to make your website look, look the best. Next is, is it mobile responsive? When you click on the, the call, the phone number, does it actually call you? Or uh, the mobile responsive, is your, your photos able to be seen on the mobile device as good as they were on, seen on the desktop? Next is your hosting. Do you have a good hosting provider that makes sure that your website has the, you know, is, has the speed that it needs to have? Is it secure? Uh, does it have backup capabilities? Uh, there's a lot within hosting as well. So uh, you want to make sure you have the right hosting plan for you. Next is call to actions. What are you looking to actually achieve when people go to your website? Like I said, it's great if you have a nice looking website. It's even greater if people are able to take the next step that you want to do them to do on your website. Next is SEO. So we first you want to look at the keyword analysis, which we're able to go in and see how many times on a monthly basis is your keyword searched. And then from there, we place those keywords in certain pages of your website. So you rank for those keywords. Next is text formatting. So you have different text areas of your website, H1, H1, H2 is, is the technical terms. Uh, so how are you rank or how is your text looking within those? Next, we have SEO friendly con copy. So how are your keywords within those? How is it, how is your, your content a uh, conveyed? Uh, next is your meta tag. So meta tags are under each page of the website. It's kind of like a brief description of what that uh, page is about your URL structure. So that's a domain at the top and how it's uh, structured there. Then your website speed, you want to have a fast website because uh, customers today, potential customers want to see the um, information quick. And if it's not quick, it could result in customers not uh, going through the process in your website because they get frustrated. So having a quick website, uh, image alt text is Google can't read images. So uh, as far as keywords that you would want to include that in your image alt text, which is basically behind the, the easy way to say it, it's behind your, your photo. Um, next is we want to search engine submissions of that. So Google knows that you have a new website. So as you can see, there's quite a few steps in developing a website. Um, these are kind of a few of the bigger ones. Um, but uh, there's even more than this, but this is just kind of a good start with uh, developing a website. So uh, the next part here is is obviously how does your website rank like we talked about? And this is a breakdown of a Google search. So the first part here are paid ads. Uh, so it's the top portion of the Google search. And, and how Google ads work is you pick, we, we pick together the, the keywords that are important to your business. Some keywords are gonna be more expensive than others. So when determining keywords, you wanna see what your product costs, you wanna see what your keywords you're gonna choose. If those are high converting keywords, are they keywords that you can afford to spend more on? Are they not? Um, and then we create the ads for you. So it could be a special that you're offering. It could be um, just good visibility. Of course, it's one of the top couple options there. You can see on the Google search, uh, you can pick demo or the geographic area in which you want to be. Let's say you just want to be in, in Ohio or Columbus. Uh, you can choose exactly the, the areas, even down to the zip codes. Uh, and then from there, you know, as far as when you want to show your ad, do you want to be a, 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 during your business hours from, let's just say eight o'clock to five o'clock or do you want to be 24 hours uh, for your ad showing? Obviously, all that dictates the price. And from there, for a price standpoint, uh, this is a custom quote because all keywords are different for pricing. So one keyword may cost you $2 a click. The other may cost you, let's just say, $20 a click. Well, your, your quote's going to be different based off the number of clicks you get. So we budget with you and determine the best budget to get the best results. 
Next is your map listing, which this is the second portion of the Google search. You can see on there, and uh, there's a lot that goes in involved with your search, uh, your submissions, different directories, how your Google map is built out, how many reviews it has, that everything's correct, that you have your keywords within your Google map. And so this is for people that are looking to search local and buy local. Um, next is your organic results, which is below there. A lot of factors that go into that. There's on-page SEO, off-page SEO. SEO is search engine optimization. Uh, so what, what this means is basically how is your website built? Are you writing for other publications? So each one of these areas, there's a different process to get there. And then on top of that, um, there's a different top, you know, as far as paid ads, you're there immediately, as soon as you start. Uh, map listing, organic results, it may take a little bit more time, but you have to have a strategy in place. So this is a little bit about how do you rank on a Google search. So when we're looking at a Google search, uh, this is uh, an example here. So um, we wanna look at keyword interactions. We wanna look at ad interactions. We're gonna create multiple ads for you. So we can see which ones work. Uh, it's called A-B testing. Uh, we're going to look at your extension interaction so you can build off your ads and create extensions. Uh, device interactions are people searching for you more on mobile or desktop. Is your conversion rates better on mobile, mobile or desktop? And then your geographic areas of interaction. Are you getting more interactions in certain zip codes? Should you make ads for those different zip codes that are working better for you to make it so they even work even better? Uh, increased keywords, so you want to see which keywords are, are uh, what the costs are, what the, um, uh, not only obviously costs, but your conversion rate, and then from there understand your cost per conversion. Some keywords may cost more, but you're getting a better conversion rate, meaning this. Let's say a keyword is $10 a click, and every two clicks you get a conversion. So it costs you $20 for a conversion. Maybe you're product is a hundred bucks and you're happy with making $80 um, as far as the, those two in play. Um, or maybe another keyword's $2 a click, but it takes you 20 clicks to get a conversion. So it's $40 a conversion. Well, even though that keyword was co cost less, it's not as valuable for you on a conversion standpoint. Uh, next is we increase the specificity of keywords and understand which keywords work the best. We decrease your cost per click because if you pay less per, per click, you're going to pay less, you're going to get more clicks. Next, there are certain negative keywords that you're going to want to include. So, for instance, let's just say that um, we are trying to market a product uh, and um, people are also searching, let's just say, Dentist, as an easy example, let's just say people are sending, searching for dentist near me. Well, they also could search dentist salary. Well, we don't want to have dentist as a keyword because, or we want to have salary as a negative keyword. So if they search salary, you're not paying for that click if someone potentially clicks on it on accident. Then we, we input analytics implementation. So we're able to see what they're doing on your website. Uh, and then monitor campaigns. We then provide monthly reports, meet with our customers to show them that they're having a solid return on their investment. So a lot involved with a Google search. Um, and then from here, this is Facebook posts versus Facebook advertising. There's a difference between the two. So when you're creating Facebook posts, you're understanding your desired growth goals. What are you looking to achieve with your Facebook posts? Are you looking to achieve clicks are you looking to achieve uh, as far as clicks i mean engagement are you looking to receive visibility conversions grow your grow your social media following are you looking for a solid return on investment for through your post what are you looking to do then creating an engaging profile you create a monthly calendar so you're actually posting as frequently as you should be uh, depending on your industry and, and what, what you're able to do. Uh, we create compelling posts, tell fans what you'd like them to do. Sometimes when we look at posts, it's uh, it's a nice post, but 
there's no actionable next steps. So having actionable next steps is important. Creating offers, util utilizing hashtags. So these are some of the basics, but this is what posting would look like. Um, and a brief overview. And then from there, Facebook advertising is, is, is different because Facebook posts go to your, your fans and, and the people that are within your, your, your Facebook group, for instance. Uh, Facebook advertising is going beyond that. So you understand first the best campaign type. Uh, there's a lot of different goals when it comes to Facebook. It has, um, numerous amount of ad types that you can choose from. So understand the best type to, to be within. Then you want to create your desired audience, maybe their demographics, maybe um, what their interests are. And then from there, you pay for reach. So you're going to be able to reach more people through Facebook advertising through your Facebook posts. So typically, this results in higher number of conversions when you reach more people. So it just depends on if you want to do, quote, the organic route through Facebook posts or the Facebook advertising route, which you pay for the reach. Uh, definitely have clients that do both, um, but that's the difference between the two. And then again, Facebook advertising, uh, compelling offers is important. So this is our invention. This is an example for you guys. Um, we're going to pretend that we created this product. It's called the Ultra White T30 Toothbrush. So this awesome, exciting toothbrush will um, basically time for you 30 seconds. So if, let's just say you're looking to brush your teeth and, and not sure how long you're brushing your teeth and it needs to be 30 seconds, this toothbrush would be able to do that for you. And so we thought here, well, how are a couple, who are our potential clients with this toothbrush? So we figure, well, dental practices. We could we could sell this to to, to dentists, uh, parents for their children, for loved ones. Uh, parents want to make sure their children are brushing their teeth. We just uh, have a young one uh, ourselves, so having uh, good hygiene and teeth is 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 uh, is good. Um, and then holiday stocking stuffer. So obviously, with uh, only being a couple months away from Christmas, what a great uh, uh, stocking stuffer for, for a loved one or a friend. So we figured out oh, this could be our three areas that we would focus on. So first what we did is uh, a quick Google research. So, um, when we look here on the left, uh, those are, uh, when we type in uh, toothbrush timer, um, those are the ads that come up right away. Those are shopping ads. And then next is a Google search ad. And then followed by that is organic search. So if someone searches electric toothbrush, it's 90,500 times in the United States. Quick toothbrush or quip toothbrush, which is one of the competitors, there's 90,500 uh, followed by some other searches. But if we're looking specifically for what we're selling, timing toothbrush, it searched 2,900 times in the United States. Now, obviously, we can change this if we want to uh, come up with more keywords, um, but essentially um, 2,900 times for that search of timing toothbrush, which we figure is a pretty much exactly with what we're, we're offering here. So that's what we probably focus within. And then we look at our competition and, and what they're doing. So um, when I, again, type in toothbrush timer, one of the first ones on here that's doing an ad is Gleam electric toothbrush, only $25 with free shipping. So you can see that they're doing ads, uh, which you can tell obviously they're from the search. But then when we do more research, we see that 51% of it's through organically through that search engine optimization. And then the other 49% of their website traffic is through uh, paid ads. So they're spending, spending money to get that visibility for their product. And then you can see kind of where their clicks are coming from. So rechargeable toothbrush, rechargeable toothbrushes, battery operated toothbrush, Gleam, which is obviously their company toothbrush rechargeable. So even when we're picking keywords, we'll look at what other companies are ranking for. 
uh, to see what that looks like. Obviously, here are some other great buys, uh, children's toothbrushes, best automatic toothbrushes. Shows you how many searches are there a month. So uh, 1,230 and impressions a month is 390 searches for that as well. And then here it also shows you the ads. So you can see how much they're spending per ad as far as an estimate, how much visibility, 41.7% as far as the visibility, and then their specific ads. So you can see they run, run one here on only $25 with free shipping. Oh, at a price that will make you smile. And then here's another one on the right, uh, Gleam Electric Toothbrush, only $19.99 with free shipping. So two different offers. Um, but you can see basically over the last couple months the ads they're running, and if they're sticking to it, then it's probably working. If they're not sticking to it, then maybe it's not. So we look at the ads, and, and this is an example of one of the competition that's that's out there for them. But uh, the, the next here is here are two Google ad examples that we created. So um, uh, obviously, here's a, a shopping ad. So basically, how these ads work is people would click on the picture or the link. Um, it would go to um, a page that would would have all the offerings uh, from there. It would it would go to your website. Um, so they would click the link to purchase the product and then they'd be able to purchase the product through your website if you like to do that. Um, next here is a, our ad search, which is right below the shopping ad that you saw in the previous one here. So you have the, the shopping ads at the very top, which you see here on the left. And then you have the search ad, uh, which is a Google ad uh, there next. And then you have SEO. Uh, so these are the two ads <laughs> we came up with. So Ultra White T30 Toothbrush, 30 second timer for whiter teeth. Dentist recommended. Take advantage of our special for just $49.99. Receive not only one, but two toothbrushes. You'll love your smile after using our toothbrush. So these are an example of two Google ads. And then here we, we have a Facebook uh, research of the competitor. So you can see here Gleam, which we had previously. Um, with doing research here and what's provided to us, we see it's a Procter & Gamble company. It's responsible for this page. We also looked up Quantum Labs, which was showing in um, one of these previous ones um, for the shopping uh, portion. So we pulled up that on Facebook. One says they're running ads, one says it's not. So what's nice about this is you can look and see which ads they're running. They're doing short video ads. Uh, and then obviously they're having a shop next to it. So this is an example of an, an ad that um, you could do, you know, hits the United States, uh, 18 to 65, parents, pediatric dentistry. So this one may be for um, a, a parent for their child. And then your, your ad creative could go here. Your text of your compelling offer would go here. And then your website, your offer, and then shop now to go to your website. So Here's a, a Facebook ad. So when we develop ads, we have a four-step process. Um, when we're working with a company, building out their campaigns, first is we like to learn. We learn about what your goals are for your business. Second, we plan. We personalize a plan just for your business to achieve your long-term goals. Then after we plan and we know what we want to do and we're happy with it and everyone's on the same page, then we execute it. So we then start your campaigns. Uh, ideas are great, but executing at the top level is what you deserve. Uh, next is we measure it. So after we execute it at the end of the month uh, and, and it's quicker and sooner, um, depending on what you're looking to do, we could be talking weekly, we could be talking monthly, uh, depending on how your, your campaign is set up. So we are constantly measuring and adjusting your campaigns to give you the results you desire. And then we go back to the drawing board. So we get the, the report each month. And then from there, we sit down, we review it with you and we determine the next steps we plan and then we execute again. And then we plan, measure, plan, execute, measure, plan. So those are the, the four step process that we love to follow. So um, that's a little bit about the, um, uh, the Google advertising, Facebook advertising, uh, websites. 
And I hope you learned uh, something today that you can take back and, 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 and use to um, sell your invention. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate in contacting me directly. My email is on there, cbarnes at pizzazz-group.com, or you can contact me at 614-372-8055. Uh, again, it was, it was great talking to your group today, and uh, I was happy to be the first presenter. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate in contacting me. Thank you very much, Carson. We really enjoyed your presentation. Uh, members, if you have any questions, you can reach Carson. His contact information was at the bottom of every screen. And if you have any suggestions to make to us, Inventors Network, to improve our presentation, please call us at our telephone number, which is on the website, and we'll get back to you. Uh, thanks, Carson.